that kid. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Marie's. Enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth, I am. He came out of the kitchen almost as soon as he entered. Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the kitchen. He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check the security cameras to see where he went. Looks like he's heading towards the cubicles. We have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly, or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas for us? Uh, maybe you could use yourself as bait? Absolutely not. Are you sure you can't? Don't be a horse's ass. Alrighty then. New plan. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. Yep. That was a uh, hundred percent just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio! It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Damn it! Did the killer hear that? Shit! Let me check the security cameras. See him on the camera. I, I, I think. Oh! Oh!
Well, remember kids, listening to electronics at a high volume can be hazardous to your health. God damn it, Forrest. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy.